I've just got some cracking shots that I'm really pleased with. Today I've decided to come out and photograph some red grouse. There's this beautiful pink and purple heather that's in bloom right now. And so I want to capture the, the grouse amongst the heather in their habitat with these beautiful colours contrasting with their mottled browns, reds and, and silver colouring that is amazing. So first job is to put on my waterproofs. It's not currently raining um, but it did rain earlier and this is quite a boggy ground so I know I'm going to get wet especially if I'm crawling through the heather or on the on the ground to get closer to the grouse. I'm not really sure how I'm going to film this I guess I'll be relying quite a bit on some b-roll <laughs> of me wandering through the heather but it, it's a, a little hard to predict because I don't know if I'm going to encounter any grouse. So this is uh, going to be interesting. I, I've got some ideas about how to film, but it's not going to be easy. The grouse are, are not don't like uh, a lot of noise, so I'm going to have to be quite quiet. And then the, the other thing is that I'll be using my car as a mobile hide. I hope you enjoy today's video. So I'm hearing some croaking noises coming from over this this hill over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to crawl up it and um, try and see if I can spot them in the heather over the, on the other side. They're, they're masters of camouflage so it can be quite difficult to spot them. Um, what I tend to try and look out for is their shape, like the head sticking up out of the heather, movement. And I try and use the sound as well to help me loc fix in on a point to look. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to set the camera up and, and try and make my way over there and see if I can spot any to photograph. Fingers crossed, eh? So that didn't work out, I couldn't spot them in the heather, they're so secretive and they can move so fast through the heather. And I don't know if you can see or hear, but the rain has picked up and you're, well, you're covered in it right now. <laughs> Just gonna head back down this way. Don't know whether to give it a couple minutes or to head back to the car. Mm. I'll carry on, I'll carry on on foot for a little bit longer. See how things go. As I came around the corner just now, I actually scared a whole family of red grouse. I just couldn't see them. Don't know if anyone else has this problem, but in the rain, the glasses, they just get covered in raindrops and I just can't see anything. I can barely see the road path in front of me, let alone a, a red grouse hiding among the heather. Yeah, I can hear them over there, over that way. Oh. This is the, the high shooting season, so they're quite wary anyway. So I'll just do my best, I'll crawl up over here. See if I can see them over the crest, and then I'll try and get closer to them as a, as best I can. Here's a 
here's a quick update on what happened. Everything went wrong. <laughs> um, those grouse that I was trying to get closer to, they um, flew off again after I got a bit closer to them. Not as close as I would have liked. I got a couple of shots, but they're, they're no good, to be honest. And uh, the battery on this camera failed. So I just uh, put my hat over this camera, put it somewhere safe, and, and continued trying to get closer to the grouse. Now, I got fairly close, but they're, they're very flighty at the moment. And they, they flew off, which was quite annoying after I'd spent quite a while trying to get closer to them. So I, I decided to head back pick up this camera and put a new battery in it. That was that was the plan and so and the new batteries were in the car. And as I walked back along the path, those birds that I scared were closer to the path. And as soon as I stopped to bring up the camera, flew off again. But they they're actually sort of just over here on the in the heather over here. They they've worked closer to the car. And the other thing is that I'm seeing a few birds right by the road up here. There's a load of birds over there, so they are everywhere. The problem is just getting closer to them today. It's the second week of the shooting season, so they're they're just still a bit scared, I think. Um, no shooting today, but that doesn't make my job easier. I think I'll, I'll leave these ones for now because they've, they've flown twice now so they must be really flighty and jumpy and nervous. I'm going to head in the car along the road a bit further around, park up somewhere else and try and get, get closer to some birds I think. It's quite early in the day yet so fingers crossed at some point today I'll be able to get closer to a couple birds. Let's carry on. So. After driving out around for a while, I went, went up this road and I've just come back and as I came back I spotted this beautiful, beautiful red grouse just sitting right by the side of the road. So I just quickly got out with the camera and then I just slowly, slowly approached her and I managed to get some cracking images that I'm really happy with. Um, so. She's sitting up amongst the heather. It's just a head sticking up out of the purple, which I really quite like. Um, there's some flowers that are semi in focus, others are a bit more um, blended out, and it, I just really like the way it looks. The only problem I have had is that the wind keeps coming and going, so when it goes, I'm plagued with midges. But it wasn't too bad just then, so. I'm really happy with some of these images, so I'm going to put them up now, and I hope you like them. I was driving along again and I spotted a couple. Um, that first patch was a bit too boggy, I was sunk quite in, so um, I drove around a little bit and uh, found a bit of firmer ground.
As you saw, I managed to crawl through the heather very slowly. I got a shot that I'm I'm quite pleased with. I'm going to have to crop in a bit because the the background there's this bright yellow car that's parked on the side of the road, um, which I don't want in the image. But there's enough there's enough pixels there to crop in a bit and and just have the bird in amongst the heather. They were still a little far away. I would have liked to have gotten some nice portrait shots, but it's okay. It's okay. It's, it, is, it is what it is. And they were just moving off towards the road, so that was a, a little bit of a pain. But I'll continue on and see if I can get any more images. That was only a, a short section of the, the crawling through the, the moorland there, but I did manage to get a little bit closer to them. And I've got a couple images that I'm happy with. I need to check them out on the computer to see how they turned out, but um, it wasn't too bad to be honest. There was five or six grouse all were moving together through the heather and that meant that I could get uh, several different images. And uh, I think I even managed to get a full body Hopefully, I need to have a look, see if it's in focus and whatnot. Hopefully I can get get some in the heather. They were amongst like a grassy, grassy section and so it's a different kind of background. I wanted the, the pink heather like from before, but maybe a little bit closer and a, a, maybe a bit of the body as well. But with wildlife photography, you've just got to work with how the animal is behaving. You, you know, it's, it's quite difficult to to get them to do what you want. So um, yeah, I'll just have some lunch and then continue on. Just got some cracking shots that I'm really pleased with. I wasn't in the best position to to film anything, but um, right on the side of the road was a couple of of grouse, and I, I managed to get really close. I'm really happy with the result. It was sort of what I was aiming for: some heather, some some grouse, good mixture of of colours. I thought the day was done. To be honest, I thought I was. I wasn't going to be able to find much more. It got suddenly all of a, all of a sudden it got quite busy down here. Lots of cars and driving around, and I wouldn't have thought this was a popular area for people, but clearly it is. With that victory, the day is not done. I'm going to keep going and keep exploring and see what else I can get. It will depend where I find the grouse, really. <laughs> But I'm really happy with those, so check them out now and let me know what you think.
the heather's quite thick there and I lost track of it, which is quite annoying. <laughs> Those ones were, they were quite far away and I lost them in the heather and it's quite divoted like this so I couldn't um, see them. That's why I was being quite bold on my approach uh, but they were very nervous and they kept, they move very quickly when they're, they're tr trying to get away and they move silently as well which didn't help so I kept losing them. I got a couple of really bad images, so uh, I won't bother putting those up. That's quite annoying because they're, they're on the shore shoreline, so I thought that might be interesting with the lake in the background, but yeah, I just can't get close to them. I couldn't get close to them. Everything I tried, they would run away. Right, I'm calling it. That's the end of my day today. I've been out for about eight hours. And I got a few images that I'm looking forward to processing and that you've seen them so <laughs> uh, what am I saying this for? Well, it's been a, a mixed day of I've had some good encounters which I'm of course happy about I've had some encounters that could have gone better and of course I haven't had any encounters in some in cases so um, as I say it's a bit of a mixed day it wasn't the best red grouse day I've ever had to be honest but it is sort of, this sort of gives you an idea of what it's like uh, you've it's a lot of with wildlife photography I found that it's a lot of perseverance in the end to get any images you've got to be willing to put in the time and the effort to wait it out and and get the the compositions that you want thanks for sticking around this long if you have I don't know how long this film is going to be once I've edited it down so I hope you even you've enjoyed the images that I managed to get today I wish that I could think of a way of filming it a bit more dynamically including you in the process but I'd, I don't know how to do that really I would need a cameraman or something I suppose I could use my action camera but again it it, it wouldn't be as as inclusive as I would like so I'm not really sure how to go about filming these days what's coming up um, I'm not sure what's coming up <laughs> As I always say, I hope to get out to, up into the mountains this week. Uh, the weather looks to be settling down after this storm has come through. So I should be able to get up on a proper hike and, and go looking for some something different for me. So probably a couple of landscape videos coming up next. I'll, I will come back and do red grouse another time. Probably before sunrise and then be hopefully with a grouse for around sunrise I think that will, that might I might be able to get something a bit different and from my experience with red grouse they they tend to be a bit more not brazen I would say but like um, confident in the mornings they're, they're a bit more active in the mornings thanks for sticking around and if you've enjoyed today don't forget to subscribe just hit that button down there and um, that way you can keep up to date with my new videos that are coming out soon. In the meantime, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.